Hey everyone, welcome to a Twobbler follow-up video. Let me turn on my webcam first. And as you can see, I look pretty good. And I don't understand why people say they look fat on camera. Because I seem to be looking fine. Anyway, back to Twobbler. Um, last night I pushed out a uh, new update. And in that update I've added a new feature that will let you customize uh, how the text is displayed or how the text is written to the text file but before I get into that let's uh, talk about some of the other things that have changed since Twobbler was first released or since the first video that I made about Twobbler uh, since then I have changed how error messages are displayed or rather I removed most of them and they are now written to a log file which is in the uh, in the subfolder of where the text is uh, written to. So, and I added an option to the right click uh, system tray icon. So if I click on view log, it will open that log. As you can see, there are no errors yet, which is good. So in case uh, Twobbler isn't working for you or it stopped working all of a sudden, the first place to look is in that log file. So simply right click on the system tray icon and select view log and if any if any error occurred uh, it should be uh, written to that log file. At the same time as the error logging I also made a change to uh, the code which uh, of course you won't see and you probably won't notice but uh, what happens is that like every 10 seconds Twobbler will fetch data from Last.fm and what seemed to happen uh, during busy hours that service, that Last.fm service would often fail because it was simply overloaded and because of that an error would display that no data could be uh, received and instead of doing, once an error is received what Twobbler does is instead of fetching data every 10 seconds it then slows down and only fetches it every 30 seconds instead of every 10 seconds and once data is received again it goes back to the 10 second cycle. Another feature that I added recently is that Twobbler will now uh, load and save the album cover of the track that is currently playing or your track that you played last. So if you have a look here this last track that I was playing, that cover will also be written to the output folder. Let's open that folder. As you can see, there's a larger version of the of the album cover there, and you can load that into OBS or XSplit. Now, with that being said, and keeping in mind that not everyone or most people don't really need a cover album, the feature to load and save the cover album is disabled by default and in a minute I'll show you how to enable it but let's first go into OBS add a new image click on OK click on browse go into the folder click or select the cover now there's an option here that says check for file changes, enable that, then click on OK, gonna edit the scene, drag it over here somewhere, make it a bit smaller, OK, like this. Now I'm gonna play a song on GrooveShark, so not the one that's currently playing, pick something else, uh, let's pick this. play that so you can see it update in Twobbler and it should also update in OBS as you can see there is no album cover currently present on Last.fm and then Twobbler will display a no album art icon if you play a song that does have the album hopefully I can find one here And of course it should display 
the album cover hopefully there we go so this song does have an album cover and it shows up in OBS so how do you enable this feature uh, it's pretty simple if you right click the twobbler icon in the system tray there's a new option in the menu here it says options select that a window will open and as you can see there's options here for uh, formatting the uh, text and as a option here at the bottom that says cover load album cover as you can see now it's enabled because I was able to load it so by default it is disabled so if you want to load album covers select this and then just hit apply and from then on uh, album covers will be uh, loaded with every new song that you're playing and now that we're here let's have a look at all the text options by default the text will be wrapped in square brackets the divider between the track title artist name and album title is an m dash or a bigger uh, hyphen the spacing is eight spaces that is the uh, spaces between the ending and the beginning so over here where my mouse is right now so that is eight spaces and by default it will uh, convert the text into uppercase so all caps now let's see what happens if I select none so now the square brackets are gone notice that they're still displaying in OBS because I haven't hit apply yet so you can preview everything first and once you're happy with how it looks you click apply and then it will uh, show up in OBS as well the divider so that is the character between the track the artist and the album you have a space like this m dash is the default a hyphen is just a small minus sign the solid is or the forward slash vertical line and the tilt the spacing you can reduce the spacing to two spaces as you can see here now this uh, room between the end and the beginning is reduced to two spaces and of course you can preserve the casing this is uh, the way it comes in from last fm but i prefer actually to uh, have it uppercase it's it's nicer on the uh, on the stream so if i now hit apply let's see what that looks like in obs over here you can see it has now applied the changes and you can play around with them have curly brackets vertical lines only and so on so I'll just play around with it until you find something that suits your needs and of course if you want to go back to the defaults just hit reset and this will apply them uh, directly as you can see in OBS they are automatically applied so I hope you like this uh, new feature that I added and if there is anything else you would like to see added or changed or just uh, to say how much you like Twobbler, uh, feel free to leave a comment and thanks for watching.